Okay, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. I am setting up that maneuver to rendezvous with the uh, moon station Adara. We are on a refuel mission. Um, while I was away, I, I loaded back up the game. I did have a uh, another contract, and it was just to reposition uh, Moon Science 1 high mooner uh, orbit, high moon orbit. Uh, into a uh, just a slightly different orbit. So I went ahead and took it. I came out here, I looked at it, I, I went ahead and made my um, maneuver node, but I was having problems with maneuver nodes. They wasn't leaving the screen, so I was having a little glitch there. I don't know what, what that was. I did have to turn the game off and reload it again. <clears throat> but, uh, excuse me, but... Um, uh, let's go here. I've already set up this. Now, I don't burn this time around. I'm going to have to wait one more orbit and then slightly speed up. Uh, that way, when I come back around, me and the station will be together. So I might have to jump out and do this one uh, in this time because I only had like an hour to go for that one. I set up the time to switch over to it. It's just a ascending node. Just a little satellite burn. I hope this is right. I mean, it does kind of look right. He's catching back up to me. Because remember, I was uh, behind him. He was in front of me. So we do have to let him go below us. That one mission might be coming up here in just a second. I have to watch both of them. I do have the timer set on that other satellite reposition. I think I've already passed the ascending node. I hope I had the. Uh... Yeah. Eight minutes. Oh, I had eight minutes to go. Okay. How long do we have on this one? I have to make this burn, whoops, I have to make this burn in 16 minutes. So we're going to do some really quick switching back and forth here. Um, we'll swatch, uh, switch over, do the burn, if it's in position, if it's the right position. Let's see what happens. It's going to speed up time just a little bit. A little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah, it's gonna let me. It's gonna. I will switch over to that one. We're gonna jump to delete on close and jump to ship. I'm not gonna restore the maneuver node because that something happened there a while ago with all that, and. Uh, so I know I was supposed to be in a normal or anti-normal. Can't remember. I'm at the ascending node. So I need to be facing down, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need to go this way. There we go. Maneuver node here. 18.7 meters per second. A few second burn, and I'll get this one. We have to wait 10 seconds. Hopefully, it'll give it to us. Just watch up here, see if that contract goes. Yes, there it went. So, just that little burn gave us 16,000. Kerbal Bucks, whatever. Whatever, and two reputation. I've noticed I've got more reputation in this save uh, game playthrough. Then in my other ones, so. Oh, forgot to set timer again. Uh, yeah, we won't make this one too long. We'll make that burn, get in, try to. Try to connect up with it. Uh, again, yeah, I could 
turn lights off. We don't need lights on just right now. Um, da, 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 get ready for this burn. It's going to be on the dark side. We're going to increase our speed, which is going to take us longer to go around. And then we'll be, hopefully, we'll catch up with him this time. Let's go around. Here it comes. I hope. Okay, we're passing that intersection. I did have trouble with the orbits there, so this is a seven second burn. Uh, here we go. Just gonna pull out my apoapsis there a little bit. Okay. Now let's speed up time, see what happens. He is over here. So I'm just gonna go a little bit high and kind of wait on him to come under. So I can't speed up time if you're really close to it. I'm going a little further out. Hopefully he'll zip right under. I think I had that set up to 14 kilometers, can't remember. Yeah, 1.4 kilometers. So coming in close. Let's see if we can see it. We're hooked to target. We are on retrograde, so we can slow down or speed up to match his orbital speeds. 47 meters per second. And I would be coming in a little faster than him, I guess. If that is us, I don't see anybody else around. Sorry, it's on the night side. Let's see what I got. Uh, in one minute, 45 seconds. Let's set up a. Just going to add a blank maneuver node just so I can see the time limit right here. It's not going to take us that long to slow down. You're really getting close to the moon here. I hate making maneuvers this close, but. Sorry, we can't see it. Try to get the uh, Milky Way in the background there. Got the uh, chatterer on talking to us here. <clears throat> okay, we're approaching at 47 meters per second. I'll kill off the relative velocity here. So hard to see. Just have to kind of watch this. I can turn lights on. Okay, we're 1.4 meters per second off of its speed. I'll just aim toward, fly towards him. 450 meters away. There we come in, we're heading at him now. Try to get just a little bit closer. And then turn retrograde when we get close. Spin around here. Not sure how much battery I had on here. Oh, uh, the rocket engine will charge the battery back up though. Every time you burn the rocket engine.
Okay, 200 meters, 250 meters. Jeb's happy, Bill's happy. Eight meters. Coming up alongside of us here. Actually, we're coming up alongside of it. Okay, one meters per second. We'll turn toward again. Get some lights on the subject here. There we go. I don't know if I can dock. I think the I think all positions are taken up. I may have to I have to get a little closer to see. Uh, RCS I'll get up a little closer, uh, probably within 50 or 60 meters, and then stand off just a little bit until I make sure that I may not have a free. <clears throat> I mean, he's going to get about a thousand meters per second of fuel out of this, but I'm going to keep a little bit to change my inclination when I do the uh, when I do the mission. To go to the northern basin. It's kind of what we're out here for, Jeb. Uh, Bill, I'm gonna go land on the men. And do a little science. And then take it back to Kerbin. Just a couple of days, there'll be a mission launching toward Duna. Uh, just a resupply mission, fuel, personnel. Needs a couple of scientists. Experienced scientists out there uh, near Duna. It wouldn't hurt to have some experience. To... But you can you can gain the experience just by launching a spacecraft. Fly by the moon, fly by Mimlas, leave the orbit of Kerbin, and as soon as you leave the orbit of Kerbin, turn around and come right back to Kerbin. Just you know get re-encountered by the sphere of influence and land and you get that experience for your Kerbals for orbiting the Sun coming in here I do have an open one but it is not that one okay I'm gonna back off here just a little bit and get stationary too close to it. I'd rather have the, uh, I'm pointing at my screen like you can see me. Uh, yeah, 51, 1.1, 1.2. No, that's a little fast. That's pretty good. I'm going to hop over to the other one. That's F5 to save it. Hop over to this one. I don't think I have a free... I 
everything up. I got this full fuel tank, which I don't want to move. So we're just going to have to have Tedley uh, get back in and uh, jump loose and just kind of hang out for a little bit. We can get him back in. So he's full of fuel. Everything's full. RCS. Yeah. So. Okay, Tedley, here we go. Undock Tedley. Tedley's undocked. Canyons. Where is that other spaceship? I don't want to collide into it. Close the shield here. Now he's he's drifting away. Um, I never thought. I don't know if you can hook a big, if you can hook a Clampatron Juniors to a Clampatron. No idea. Hmm. I won't try it, but uh, swap back. Get into our other spacecraft here. Oh, that's a good shot. Look. <laughs> Clamp a Tron docking port. Set as target. Very good. We don't want to hit him. We got some class. Angel. Dog heard a neighbor come in, I think. Um, Angel, good girl. Good girl. Come over. Come here, lay down. Angel. Lord of mercy. Okay. We're going to go in. We're going to try to dock with that um, station. Get this fuel transferred over. Tedley, he'll be all right. He's just drifting backwards there. If we need to, we'll pop back over and uh, move him again. Final propellant. We got a little bit. Yep. We can come in a little quicker than this. I wish it was. Oh, gotta open. Open the docking shield here. Now I am going to kind of come down a little lower, not just come straight in because the angle that we're on. Not what I wanted. Okay. I really do hate the way they do. <laughs> Orbital chase lock. Everything up is up and down is down. Looks like it's kind of rotating there, or shaking a little bit. It's shaking, it knows I'm coming. Whoops, a little lag. 18 meters away. Okay. 
Okay, now we're going to slide to the left. Kind of rotate this wall. Sometimes you just have to get your head wrapped around it just to know which way's up. Okay, I'm going to board again. Looks like. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I see what it's doing. It's locked on to the wrong one. Set that one. There we go. Looks good. As we get closer, I'll turn off RCS and SAS. Okay, everything's turned off. Just gotta let the machine do it. There we go. <clears throat> and Tedley's back here. So he's good. We're gonna do some refuel now. We did have to refuel. Uh, it's about 150 out of 1400. We're not even gonna get that much. Uh, out of it. I'll go ahead and start start the mission here. I uh, probably should hit F5 to save. And we want in from here and out of there. And I do want to save a little bit. So we'll put some back in the middle tank. Uh, these outer tanks can go ahead and go. Oops, we want out of here. Okay. Okay, that one, that one, out and out, this and that one, out and out, may fill up the oxidizer, and the last one over there on that side, and this one, Out. Okay, a little bit more than what it had. Um, still have some in the middle. I, like I said, I do want to save some. So, we'll out, out, stop, stop. <laughs> 68 meters per second, maybe. I may have to use some of this to. Oh, I don't know. It should be 68 meters per second. Uh, maybe I can close these two off here so they're not using it. And just got doing maintenance while we got on here. We got 37 science. It's not not important to send it right now. Uh, we can actually detach. Um, this will go back to Kerbin once it launches off of the surface. So I don't need anything else. Just kind of just kind of checking to see what's on here that I might need or want to transfer over. Oh, I could take some uh, some science back. Now I've got other missions planned for that, so uh, he could go ahead and grab uh, you know some mission, some uh, data, uh, some experiments. Okay, well refuel uh, complete. Let's go ahead and detach him. Okay, we'll close this. We'll face normal. Because this will be the type of burn we'll, we will be doing. 
And let's just give a little bit of push. Out of their way. Uh, let's hop over to Tedley. Yeah, here's Tedley's craft. Oh wow, he's drifted 200 meters away. We need to set that as target though. We'll go ahead and get him back. Nope. I saw it there. Where is it? Yeah, set the story up. Tedley does not have the computer, so he has to do everything himself. shot back and he does not have lights on this one I, I, yeah, I was fortunate enough to I was on the ground and launched one that had lights on it and was able to use them this one does not so I'm glad we're in the daytime side uh, coming back in for a dock we can get the docking port at least get close and uh, Moving that nav ball down there so that my trajectory is is on it. Forward at 12 meters per second. Oh, I'm sorry, 1.2 meters per second. <clears throat> Speed up time just a little bit. I want to get him docked. Hopefully, maybe get set up for that burn. where I don't have a light on this one. Okay, where are we? Are we going back on the night side? Oh my goodness, we're going back on the night. No, we're not. No, we're not. I guess it was a cliff. <laughs> okay, we're 40 meters away. I'll start slowing down a little bit. mode here so I know which way's up which way's down and I think yeah right here right up front isn't it yeah that's uh, perfect that's what we want so we want to come kind of eyeball it here. I'm slide to the left. Translate, I guess. Left.
everything off, let it do its job, if it will. Select the magnets. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so we got Tedley back, and there's our other one. Tedley is you're good, right? Yeah, Tedley's good. No fuel expended, just a little bit of RCS. Switch back over to to here, and I think that's where we're going to leave it. Um, we are kind of in a little dance here with the station, but we are going to scoot away from it. Probably get a little closer. Well, I don't know. Maybe we should stay here and do our burn. Our inclination burn is cheaper when you're further away from the surface. Um, but I am going to leave it here. Thanks for watching. We had a pretty good mission. I uh, hope you liked the video.